Hey guys, welcome back to the Beauty in the Grinds community here on YouTube. I'm so glad that you could join me for this video this evening. Tonight's video is a beauty room tour. It was a requested video, so I'm very happy to be putting it together and bringing it to y'all here on the YouTube space. So if you're interested in seeing how I've cultivated my own personal space, not just for myself as an oasis for myself, but also for clients who are coming over for services, if you wanna see how I've set up my lights or even how I've organized my makeup and some of the direct decorations and decor that I have around me, then please keep watching. My beauty room, I'm going to give you a brief history lesson, uh, it took, has taken pretty much this whole year just to get to the point of where you are seeing it in the video. It is a work in progress. There's multiple things that I have left to do and that I want to do in this space because as well as it's a place for me to film and create content for all of you guys here on YouTube, but even for my Instagram community, it's also a place for people. It's a place to have makeup services done and facial services done, but in the chance that I get a guest, it's also my guest room because my couch, as you will see, it folds out. Um, so this room is multi-purpose. You're even going to see some like the secret um, art stashes that I keep in little drawers because I do do a lot with arts and crafts. And so you're going to see all of that in this video. So I've put a lot of time and I've put a lot of thought in it. Also, I want to make note before I move on, this is not one of those videos that I'm putting together to say, oh, hey, look at me and look what I have done. That's not what this is about. This was a requested video from Lovely K. Thank you so much. I love requested videos. So whether you're new or old to this space and to this channel, if there is a video that you would like to see, don't be shy. Put it in the comments thread and if I can do it, I will. Also, if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe and hit the bell notifier so you always know when I'm posting something new. Um, and with that, I'm going to lead into the beauty room. Now, like I was just saying, this is not for me to kind of go hoo hoo hurrah and look at all the things that I've done. This is just kind of showing the space that I spend a lot of time in, in the space that I have put together, not just for myself, but with other people in mind. Also, I am not, I am a makeup junkie. Um, but I'm a recovering makeup junkie. So there's a lot of makeup that you will see is makeup that I'm using for my kit or that I use personally, but this is not a beauty room makeup hoard. So I don't want, if, if you're looking for that, you might not want to watch this video because this video is more about my aesthetic, about how I've organized my makeup and the type of makeup that I use. But this is not a video that's like, look at all this makeup that I have. I could have my own store. That's not what this is about because that's not really how I work my life. I do have a lot of makeup. Don't get me wrong, but I use it and I, and I purchase makeup that I know I'm going to use not only just for myself, but also for my clients. And I want to be able to reach a broad um, clientele. I hope that you will enjoy it and that you will draw some type of inspiration from it and of course if you have any questions you can note them down below so let's move on all right guys so you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit I am recovering from a tonsillectomy so my voice sounds very different than usual but this is the beauty room tour and what you're looking at right now is my beautiful your beauty mark book by Vita Von Tees. no beauty room is complete without it these are little black shelves that actually sit underneath my mounted television in the beauty room. And I just have some really quaint knickknacks that are personal to me, such as this horse. So this horse was actually given to me from my grandmother, my great grandmother. So it's actually a vintage antique piece. And then this is a picture of my grandmother. I just thought she needed a place in my beauty room because she's so beautiful. Second uh, to that is an actual photograph, this is not a print, of Marilyn Monroe when JFK was in office. A very, very dear friend had a father who worked in the office at the time and uh, was able to grab some portraits of Marilyn that were never actually printed. And many, many, many years later, um, I was gifted one of them. So I feel very special to receive it and it's a very treasured item of mine. This is just a program from Dita Von Teese. I like to keep books on the shelf. I'm a huge reader. That's actually um, a 19, I think, 54 Time magazine with Marilyn Monroe on it. So all the books in my beauty room have something to do with beauty, whether it's fashion inspiration, makeup inspiration, life inspiration. It all has to do with what? 
Oh my goodness, how did Harry Potter get in here? <laughs> All right guys, so on a side note, I build Legos for stress relief and Harry Potter is one of my favorites. So moving on from the bookshelves, I will be taking you over to my L-shaped couch. Now this couch came from Ikea and it is a bed and storage. So that slides out on the bottom to create a queen size bed and then this lifts up and you can put the pillows or the mattress or the um, sheets in there. It's really great and works perfectly for small spaces. So my beauty room is not a huge room, but you can decorate in a way that makes a small room look larger. So by creating a gallery wall of all of the things that inspire me, Marilyn Monroe being one of them, you can create a lot of depth of field and make the room look larger even if it's smaller, especially when you add a mirror. Now some of the pictures on the wall that you're seeing, um, you don't get to see when I'm filming because they reflect the light and the glare of the glass and I actually have to take one of those Marilyn's Marilyn's down and replace it with another one. So here is where the magic happens. This is my vanity desk. It is from Ikea. Um, the two drawers on either side are Alexis drawers and then I bought the very very large 45 inch desk top in faux wood. So the Dita vase heads that I have on my vanity, I love them. Dita actually created these um, over the last several years. They are a bust of her head and you can store anything you like in them. Obviously I use them to store my makeup brushes and I had to have the red rose and the gold rose because it just, it looks so pretty with the decor of my beauty room. Now, I also am a huge DIY repurposer, so that origami white container was a candle from Bath & Body Works that I repurposed into a brush holder. The plate was actually gifted to me several years ago. It's meant to be in your yard as like a stepping stone, but I think it's so pretty, and I just use it to kind of hold the things I need to grab very quickly when I'm getting ready in the morning. This is from Home Goods. It's actually a jewelry box. But because it was split and I use Q-tips, especially pointed Q-tips in all my makeup looks, I thought it was perfect to put on the vanity and I have an affinity for dragonflies anyway. Of course, more books about Marilyn Monroe and Hollywood and beauty. It's actually a framed picture of me standing on Marilyn Monroe's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This wonderful little martini glass I picked up as a souvenir from the Dita Von T show I went to back in April. This is a signed photo of Yaya Han, who is a big cosplayer, so if you follow cosplay, you might know who she is. And I thought her cosplaying as Jessica Rabbit was perfect for the beauty room, and then my friend was able to get her to sign it for me when I missed the last cosplay convention and she was attending it. Now this spinny thingamajig I thought was a great idea. I asked for it for Christmas last year. Unfortunately, the cubbies are kind of tight, and it's not like a cheap piece of like you know, beauty furniture, and I just don't really recommend it. The other thing is, um, you can use the little beads inside, you know, the little cubbies on either side to help your brushes stand up, or your liner stand up, or whatever you need to kind of keep in place. So I have been able to work with it, but I don't recommend purchasing it. The cubbies, even for the lipstick, it only holds a certain size lipstick tube, and anyway, it's kind of wonky. I like it for what it is, but I don't recommend it. Now on this side, we're going to go through all of these drawers, oh boy. So on the left side of my vanity are pretty much all the drawers that hold a lot of my overflow makeup and my pro makeup kit pieces. This top drawer is my personal accessories drawer, it's where I keep, you know, quick eye makeup remover, you know, setting spray, breath mints when I have clients, my makeup wipes, hair clips, um, sponges, powder puffs, now that is actually the Flawless Finishing Touch. Um, I have a review on it if you guys wanna check it out, but it removes all facial hair. And it removes like the um, peach fuzz on your cheeks. So it creates a really smooth, flawless um, canvas on your face basically, because it removes all the hair so that your makeup applies even better. I love it. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about it, you can check out the review on my YouTube. So moving on to the second drawer, is going to be lashes and I wear false lashes every single day the ones right there are the wispies um, I use those every day on the daily I use the house of lashes glue it is the best and if you are someone who struggles with your eyelashes lifting 
The House of Lashes glue is worth the investment. I haven't had one issue since I've started using it with any of my lashes lifting. And I'm probably wearing that pair where the box is empty in this video. I bought that little acrylic container from Michaels. It's meant to hold colored pencils, but it's really great and portable for on the go. You can put the scissors to trim your lashes in, glue, you know, extra sets of lashes, kind of overflow stuff. I like to use these little box containers to kind of throw my odds and ends. So these are my personal mascaras that I use. That one's from Unique. I got that from Katy Berry. It's really great. I like, um, oh yes, my rose gold eyelash curler from Tweezerman. It's like my new prized possession. The third drawer is an overflow drawer for a single eyeshadows, mini eyeshadow palettes, alcohol to keep things sanitized while I'm working, facial moisturizer, um, my vampire teeth. I'm sure you guys who follow me on Instagram got a lot of love of those vampire teeth this past Halloween. And then of course the lint roller, because that baby right there who's sitting at the threshold of the door is not allowed in the beauty room because I try to keep it cat free for those who might have allergies. The almost the last drawer, I think this is the fourth drawer down, is my pro complexion kit drawer. So a lot of the makeup that you're seeing right now is in like acrylic bags and I will use whatever acrylic bag I have like I don't care I'm a repurposing fiend and I like to be able to see what's inside of it so this is all setting powder primer setting spray there's a lot of Mary Kay foundations because I invested in some of those for my kit I don't really use them anymore but they're not empty and I haven't pitched them I have a lot of Bare Pro press foundation a lot of the MAC mineralized press foundation this stuff is beautiful to create a really nice satin luminous look um, that's highly polished for anybody's skin i love it and then of course i have my skincare bag on the go this is for clients because i i'm a really firm believer that you've got to prep the skin well in order for makeup to look good on it so i'm, I'm always prepping my client's skin before i even start makeup like i will take off everything they have on prep their skin and then you know start glamming up their face so here are some more of those acrylic dividers that you can buy from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. You're going to find them where they have colored pencils and such. And what I do is I use them to separate my lip liners from my eyeliners. Um, that orange container carries all my lipsticks and honestly, I pack that up per pro like like per appointment because sometimes I need different colors on different events for different things than I do on other ones. So like I just did a huge glitter event um, for this Christmas thing that I did for Blanchard and Calhoun and um, that was filled with a lot of glitter and red. So again, this bottom drawer has got a lot of my pro stuff in it. It's got my palettes in there, extra sponges, extra brushes. You saw my little bag there. It had a whole bunch of brow stuff. And Samson, look at him. <sighs> He is not supposed to be in that room. He came through the threshold. Naughty, naughty. All right, so on the right side, this is all my personal daily use stuff. So in the top drawer, I have got my foundations, my concealers, my primers, and my powders that I personally use on myself. So this is a bamboo little um, box, and I love it. I wish I could have done my whole vanity in bamboo, but it just was not cost effective. <laughs> Um, and then I found this little acrylic divider in the kitchen section and I kind of measure things out and I want to make sure that it's going to fit. And what I do is I just separate things to how I'm visually going to be reaching for them. So, you know, foundations in the front, one cubby's going to have my concealer, one cubby's going to have my little primers and then my set um, foundations and powders. Now in the second drawer, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes. This drawer is not finished. I am waiting for my husband to make me like these little wooden dividers to put my palettes in so that they can stand erect and they won't fall down. So in the meantime, I've just kind of set them up on their side. That MAC palette is one that I made. I did a huge review about it on my YouTube channel as well. So it's one of my playlists if you want to check it out, but the colors are just phenomenal. And then I use these little square, like I told you, I repurpose so much stuff. So those like little square acrylic, acrylic containers you're looking at are actually the bottom halves of the containers that hold my Q-tips. 
and I just put the single eyeshadows that I use on the daily inside of them so that they're easy and ready to go. So the third drawer is basically where I keep, you know, extra blushes, my gel liners, my brow products. I'm going to have my inner rim liners that are nude and I keep them separated from the dark ones. You know, I've got my liquid liners in here. I've got some brushes, like I keep my bare mineral brushes in this drawer and they need heavily washed. Like I'm looking at this video right now going, oh my god, they need washed so bad. Fourth drawer down is another overflow drawer. Now I'm pointing at this Ivory Goddess highlighter that I'm trying out from Bejeweled Goddess Beats. I'll put the IG handle below, but it is phenomenal and she has multiple colors. You gotta go and check her out. I'm loving it. And there's some pictures in my Instagram feed if you want to see what it looks like on my skin. I do have a screwdriver in this drawer because this girlfriend believes you can do it yourself. So I asked for that for Christmas last year. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. And then this is my arts and crafts drawer. I had have one drawer dedicated to arts and crafts because I do a lot. The DeWalt hot glue gun is the god of all glue guns. So if you are DIYer, that is the hot glue gun to get. I've got my label maker in this drawer. I've got my acrylic paints in this drawer. I've got glitter in this drawer. So yeah. Acrylic paints, glitter, more glitter, got glitter everywhere, and my label maker. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for taking an interest in my vanity, kind of how I have it laid out, what my little personal space looks like. I hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Of course, I'll close this video out. Um, but I just wanted to say if you have any about questions, like some of the products that I use, maybe you saw something and I didn't answer it in the in the voiceover, um, just drop me a comment, let me know, and I'll get back to you. A lot of the acrylic dividers I have found at Target and Bed Bath & Beyond, or even Home Goods, and I've honestly found them more in the kitchen section than in the actual beauty sections. It's just kind of about using your imagination, if it will fit where you need it to fit, and then how you can purpose put it to purposeful work um, in your space. So guys enjoy these last few seconds of the vanity tour and I'm gonna close out the video thank you so much for listening especially because I don't do voiceovers um, very often So that is it for my beauty room tour. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and joining me this evening for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen, where I've collected certain things, where I've picked up certain things, or even the makeup, the makeup that you saw in all the drawers, if you just kind of want to know a little bit more details, please just let me know. Put it in the comments thread below. I'd love for you guys to become part of the Beauty and the Grinds community. So please hit the bell notifier. I post new videos every Friday, and it's one way to never be left out, and you'll always know when something's up and new. So next Next week, I will be debuting a makeup look specifically for the holidays, so I hope that you'll join me back here for that. If you are interested in any of my other social media handles um, or where you can connect with me elsewhere outside of YouTube, I will put my Instagram and my Facebook down below in the description box. I do a lot of exclusive content for my Instagram community, so it's just another great way to kind of stay connected with me, and you can always reach out and ask me questions over there. Hope that you guys are having a fantastic night, and I will see you all next week. Bye, guys.